Okay, so this is going to be a video on how to draw a Sri Yantra with purely a pair of dividers and a ruler. Ruler! <laughs> the, this has been taken from a computerized diagram which I thought was particularly good on the basis that um, aside from the thickness of the lines the crossing points are extremely good um, so what I did was I where is it this name? I analyzed the points at which this these things cross and marked the thing, so I put a circle of uh, 12 points around and uh, then uh, uh, drew crossover lines and worked out exactly where things are. So we will do the same thing with this one. Um, at number, no, I started with a circle of 10 10 centimeters in diameter and you need to start with the first line uh, this one okay so we'll start by numbering these 1 to 12 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So the first line that you want to, the first thing you want to do is do a ten centimeter circle. All right. And make sure that you push the point into the paper, um, not too hard, so that it, um, uh, that the. Um, the point of the compass will be moving around when you later use it. Um, so prescribe a circle there. All right. So you first draw a line between points one and seven, and pick any point on that on something in the middle of the page, and draw that first circle. Now, when this point meets here, you want to be absolutely dead accurate. You want to get right in. I think is, is the problem with the problem with Sri, and, uh, Sri Andra is you make you get something out half a millimeter out anywhere on the page and it amplifies because you're using um, drawing from here to here and this point so half a millimeter out here becomes one millimeter out here and it amplifies unfortunately so you have to really watch it so from point number one subscribe on the circle prescribe subscribe the point to number three and number to number 11 then do the same thing from number seven remember you hold the total compass like this you don't do like that and push it round you push in put a small amount of pressure on there and subscribe to points number five and number nine and then you use the compass and thing so having marked exactly on the circle where that where this line the horizontal line crosses you mark that point now what you also need to do is from point number nine you need to mark here and then from number 11 you mark here up there but also you want to check that the distance between 9 and 11 is so it's the same there and you do the same thing from this side you talk about number 5 there then check to number 3 that's the same distance and then from number 3 Mark like that. Okay. Right. Um, again, you want to be pushing the point in just very gently. All right. Now, once you've got the two points over here, you can use this to mark the line between number 10 and number 4. And what you should find, this is very essential to do to do it like this. Okay, is let me check. 
you make a small subscription, you put the pencil in at an angle like this against the, 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 the ruler and you make a small line and without moving the ruler check that the line check with your eyes that the line is actually crossing over the point and what you'll feel as you move it over you will hear this dunk sound as the pencil goes over the point that you made with the compass so you know that you got the right point All right so again there there and draw the line from number 10 to 4 now once you've done that you can then do exactly the same thing you can go 10 to 12 10 to 8 and from point number 4 4 to 2 and 4 to 6 and then check that 6 to 8 is equal and 2 to 12 is equal all right now you have the all of the points that you need um, around the circle and you also have the dot in the center and you make sure that you have dot 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 the thing the 12 points of things because these are going to be essential for when you draw the lines to make sure that you have the um, um, the pencil on the right place you want a really really sharp pencil by the way <laughs> okay um, so the first guidelines You want this point here, okay? So you want a line between numbers 9 and 12 and 11 and 6, all right? So there, again, remember, you use the pencil to go in at an angle um, and make sure that the, you know the, the, the you feel the the pencil go over the hole that you've made with the compass. All right. And then you want the other one here, which is between three and eight and two and five. And once you've done that. Again, you would be doing this with the pencil first, okay? Um, I'm going to mark this for you so that you can clearly see the finish line. This is a 0.8 millimeter pen. Okay. All right. And again. But remember to use the pencil first, only do the lines at the very end. And again, you, you've got the point at number seven. Point seven. So you can do your triangle from here to here. Now, I am not doing this correctly. When you're drawing these lines, you want to go from the point that you can see with the pen to the one that you can't. So, sorry, sorry, this is a thing. So, I can see that, and I am the opposite side of this one, so I can stop there. If you went the other way round, you'd not be able to see that point because the pen is in the way. Do it. <laughs> Next, you want where are we? You want this line here. To do that one, you want where are you? Where are you? No, I can't do, I can't do that one yet. It's not, not, I get enough. We 
do this one. Okay, now for this one. Turns out that it will cross here and here and there. But also, the line between these two, it terminates at that point there. Okay, so we want a line between 10 and 12 and 10 and 1. and 12 and 4 All right. and that will give us this point here and that point there right. and circle them because you, you, you want everything and we also want between 2 and 4 1 and 4 and 2 and 10 All right. what that will give us is the start and end point of this the top line here and it will give us the crossing points again you want to just draw a little nick there and there make sure they're dead accurate first and finally you draw the line itself there is here yeah. so what's our next line the next line that we could do. Ah yes, I found it. It is this one here. Now it is just to the left of this triangle, okay? It is not on the triangle, it's just to the left of it. And it is the one between 10 and 6 here, yeah. and 9, 9 and 2. 10 and 6, and 9 and 2. Alright, and that will give you this point here. Not this one, it will give you the one to the left of it. Likewise, we want the crossing point between 8 and 4, and 5 and mm, five and 12. I should have done that one the other way around because I can see here and if I can put the point here um, and I can see where that ends. No problem. Let's see if I can do that correctly this time. Now we can draw these two because we know so we want the line number one and here this point here so I'm going to put that point, point on there and I'm going to stop there because I can see where that ends excuse me while I just move this my head underneath here I'm so sorry I'm in the way of the camera see it, draw it to where I can see it, <laughs> okay, so now we have the two main triangles and we have this nice line there, right. now um, I did a circle of 10 centimeters in radius because I happen to have prepared earlier that the distance between here and there which is the next line we're going to do we're going to do this one um, is exactly 67, 67 millimeters so that's your verification okay all right if it's not 67 millimeters you've got it wrong 
Um, so, first, I want to draw a line between 12 and 8 and 2 and 6. These are your guidelines to uh, stop um, uh, drawing. You don't need to go any further. All right. And we are looking for... I want that point there and that point there, okay? So, for these ones we want a guideline between 8 and 4, right, which will cross our triangle point here, and we want another one between 6 and 10, okay? And now, I've drawn one earlier, but this is a critical so that distance between there would need to be 67 millimeters now um, you also want these two these two lines let's do those two first okay all right so we're going from the center here and I happen to know how, how long it exactly it is so um, but you should use the pen remember you should use the pencil first okay and it's crossing, hang on, we have that point, we don't have this line yet, I'm, I apologise, we don't have this line yet, we can't do that one until we've got that one, so let's do this one first, okay? And let's This one, this one, you need to be very, very careful. And what I would suggest you do is make some marks here and uh, here, um, and make sure the distance between there and there and there and there is the same. Because um, uh, this one, if you notice, you're using two inner points, and any error will be multiplied okay, as you draw the line, right? So remember, you're crossing between points 10 and 6 and 8 and 4. It's crossing with this, with the bigger triangle here. And stop there, and just before the most of the points there. Alright. Oh. Now we have this point, okay. Now we can draw this one, All right. okay. and we want, it's this line here, and we want this circle here, okay, this point there. All right. Now, um, again, do it in pencil. Um, because you're going to overscore it later, you don't. We don't. We don't know where this line meets, so do it in pencil first. Okay, but I do happen to know where it is, so I can actually draw it. One. this point is here and we don't know where that one is um, and we've yet to do this line here okay All right. now um, let me see we know where that one is and having done this so many, so many at times. The next line that we want this one, yes. Okay, so we have this crossing point, we have this line here, we know where that point is. So, um, so 
this one, very nice, ends at exactly this point here. It's this one here, and it ends precisely on that line. So to draw a line, a guideline between 10 and 8, and also between um, 6 and 4, that point between the major point of the, the big triangle and the crossing line of this one. I can, I can tell a little bit better to this one. I'm going to stop there. Okay, and now because we have this guideline here and because we have that guideline there between six and four, we can also draw this one. That's the point, that's the crossing point we were looking for earlier that we couldn't do. Because, yeah, 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 yeah. It's really, it's, it's quite, quite challenging this. You've got to do it in just the right order. The nice thing is, there is an order. Okay, now we have this crossing point, and now we have this one, so now we can do this line. Hooray! Right. Again, this central line is critical to knowing where these things are. And now, um, here's where you get the errors showing up in the, the thing. It's never going to be absolutely perfect and the typical advised way to deal with this is um, to um, use a thicker pen. I'm not kidding. And so it crossed over this one but it just barely missed this one. So it's one side of that line and it's one side of that line. This one, but it's only about half a millimeter out in each one of those. And this is really not a lot. Okay, now we have this point and this point, which is a bigger one, is here and here. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line, a guideline from here to there, and another guideline from here to there. Right? Because it turns out that this line here crosses exactly at that point there. Alright? So. You want this one. Do not do that one. Okay? It's this one. It's these two. These two points here. Alright? Okay. And that's... So from the big triangle... Big triangle, big triangle crossing point. Approximately near number nine. To the big triangle and the inner triangle. Approximately near number three. Alright? And just do yourself a guideline here and circle that point there and then do another guideline from there to there and circle that point there okay. then we've got this line okay. which is the crossing point of these guidelines the ones from there to there pretty cool huh? from there to there 
right? Now you have this point. Hurrah. Okay. So remember here we ended this one at this point here. We ended it at that one. And we want from the middle there to the one there. And then we will get that crossing point and we have to do the next line on that one. Okay, all right. So hit and wig again. Now this is where your accuracy will show up because several is one of this this one here should just about be um, accurate. And again, you'll probably find that it's maybe out by half a millimetre there. And again just use a thicker line. Once you've drawn the gut, all the oh, once you've you drew the thicker line. Once you've drawn all the all the things in pencil, okay. It's getting there, isn't it? Now you've got this the uh, the thing. You want these crossing points between number eleven and three, in here and here, for the second second in the triangle. And again, um, these lines you'll be able to complete. So you'll know now know the crossing point between there and there. Because previously we didn't know how long this one and we didn't know how long this one was. Now again, what I would suggest is that you do a pencil mark, pencil mark, and then um, measure from there to there, make it absolutely sure. Again, because this is an inner to inner, um, inner, to inner um, expanding outwards and any error that you have on this again will be amplified. And then that will result in a cascade amplification of errors, which you won't look, as you'll have to start again. <laughs> right, so now we can draw from where we had the, the two crossing guidelines. We've got this in a, tri in, in, in a triangle, next in a triangle, go from here to here. And the next one. <laughs> and now we have the intersection of here and here. Almost done. Okay. Uh, don't do what I do, which is draw from there to there. <laughs> you want from this one to this one. And if you're really lucky, you will get this crossing over. There was a line that you're going to draw here, will cross over at this point here. Is all one millimeter out, which which the thick line hides. Don't tell nobody. Mm, just one millimeter out there on that point there. And now we've got this. Now, here's a trick. We're going to draw this one across from here to here. Right. This is the final in a triangle, but you want to make sure that this distance here, this this should not meet here, and that then should not meet there. And what we're going to do is turn it upside down, <laughs> right, and we're going to draw between there and there, but again, because we've got the amplification, amplification effect of the, um, any errors will show up, obviously, um, we're going to use the fact that by eye that's a very small distance and that's a very small distance and we're judging that that's basically accurate hurrah here we go um yeah that's about right that's about right do it properly use and measure it you know mark it as i suggested earlier and five 
finally. Yeah. And there you have a really good Sri Yatra. <laughs> Which was copied from somebody else's diagram on the internet. <laughs> um, where basically the only... The only arrows that we've got is uh, a one millimetre there and a one millimetre there. And there was another one somewhere, wasn't there? Else wasn't there. Um, but yeah. That's it's that's pretty cool. Well, yeah, you can divide it up. Basically, you can divide it up into twelve, um, uh, uh, and then draw all these uh, guidelines. Um, and <laughs> the, only, the only bit that's a bit odd was uh, this one here, which I found. Although that line from eight to twelve and two to six. Initially, I thought it was actually actually on that point. It's not. Uh, you use use that line. You know, uh, draw this one across here. It does not go all the way. This one here does not go all the way to that guideline here. It's the only one I found that was a bit odd. Anyway, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs>